One, one story about your dad. The, the bet. The bet involving your brother. Do you know the story I mean? The, the bicycle? Yeah, the, the motorcycle. motorcycle. The, motor, the motorcycle. Oh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Another way my dad did great business. Um, <laughs> our upbringings are so similar. It's like, yeah. Are you getting laid? <laughs> I'm trying. Every time I come on this show, I get abused by Hollywood stars. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to sit back and enjoy. Yeah, this is a great story. This is a great story. So, my dad's at a ranch one time with his friends, and they've been deer hunting all day, and it's late at night. They're sitting out at the bar and drinking and stuff, and so all of a sudden the subject comes up of how high everybody can pee, you know? How high on the wall, right? And he's got this buddy named Jim who's about six foot six, and they're playing cards looking around, and my dad sees this old BMX bike, and we couldn't afford a BMX bike. Now, my middle brother had been wanting a BMX motorcycle, but we couldn't afford it. There's this old CRX 80 over there. And dad says, well, you know, uh, Jim, my son, he could pee over your head on the wall. And he goes, oh, there's no way he can do that. And he goes, yeah, he can. I'll bet you. I'll, I'll, bet, the, I'll bet the motorbike on it. And the guy goes, oh, there's no way. I'm six foot six. Pop gets in the car, drives an hour and a half back into town, wakes my 12-year-old brother up in his tidy whities gets him out of bed. What do you got to do when you get woke up in the middle of the night as a kid? You got to pee, right? My dad says, no, 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 no. No, you're not going to pee. <laughs> Actually, get in the car and pee. Get in the car and no, have a sip on this beer because we're heading. We're about, to go, we're about to go get yourself a motorcycle, buddy. So Pat's sitting there in his tidy whities They ride an hour and a half back, get back at 4 in the morning, and brings my brother in the barn. They put Jim up against the wall. Jim marks the mark at six foot six, and my dad says, "Go ahead, boy." Pew! <laughs> Pew <laughs> by a foot. Put the CRX 100 in the back of the truck. Got home. My dad, my brother's first motorcycle. <laughs> we love your father. Well, you were also a young entrepreneur, weren't you? I wouldn't say that. No. <laughs> Well, didn't your father... Get, well, what did he, he... He wanted you to sell... Oh. Was it cellophane he wanted you to sell? My parents came upon a truck of cellophane somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked not to ask too many questions. I didn't. <laughs> I just... Suddenly, there was a basement filled with cellophane, and uh, <laughs> they encouraged me to go to school and see if I could sell it to my teachers or... <laughs> Put a few in my backpack and try and hawk them at recess, you know? <laughs> Convince kids that they might be good uh, stocking stuffers for their parents. What are the uses of cellophane? <laughs> I mean, how did it go? <laughs> what do you mean, what's the use of cellophane? I, I, I know the name, but I don't know what Plastic you do bag. with it. You know, you wrap sandwiches in it, it keeps things fresh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. It was an important question. You needed to ask it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job of selling it, obviously. No. But, uh, did you, uh, did you I, sell it? There's still some left, if you're interested. <laughs> well, I'm now I cut you a deal. Fresh, I, I want some. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if someone... The dream was someone would just say, I'll take all of it. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> it's a weird story. I don't know. <laughs> It is a bit weird now yeah. you tell it. Well, yes. <laughs> seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know what it's like with mothers and daughters, but fathers and sons, there is a rivalry. There's bound to be a kind of... Particularly Brooklyn now, he's 16, he's becoming his own man <laughs> and stuff. And, and it's so funny, like, the way you try to score points against each other. So, uh, Brooklyn uh, put this picture up on Instagram, and uh, he, he put on it, um, rocking the old-school Ralph Lauren. And look at that, he's got 317,000 likes. OK? Yeah. Uh, so that, you know, cool in his Ralph Lauren, and he scroll through the comments, you know, oh, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, I want to be, blah, blah, blah. Get down to this one. And Mr. David Beckham, <laughs> that's my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean. But it actually, but it actually is my jumper. <laughs> and I, um, I, was, I, was, um, I was sat at lunch, actually, when that, that came up on my screen that he'd just posted a picture of him <laughs> 
and it was my jumper, so I had to tell him. <laughs> um, but I do find him going in my wardrobe, even though he doesn't think I'm that cool dad. Yeah. Um, I still find him wearing my clothes every single day. This one's for you, so uh, this is him. It's a little video he posted on Instagram uh, to really boast about the number of his followers. Here we go. So it's my mum's birthday today. OK, I just reached a million followers. I've got 52. <laughs> Face. He is crushed. I know. I know. Well, I, I was, I, we were literally just about to walk out the door, and um, I could hear him talking in his room, and I thought, and then I heard him say, you know, I've just about re just reached a million. So yeah. <laughs> you destroyed that boy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh, you know, when we're out, he gets recognised so much um, that I'm literally, you know, I'm known as Brooklyn's dad. Now, and that's, that's, that's kind of it. I'm yeah. the one that takes a picture of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. no one's buying that. <laughs> but your son did such an amazing uh, job yeah. uh, playing you. I mean, that's what I'm most proud of, you know, more than having this movie, having Stroud Compton, this, that, and the other, is the fact that my son was able to take an opportunity and run with it and hopefully set himself up in, you know, one of the greatest industries in the world. Uh, and you know, uh, I'm so proud just as a father. And oh, yeah, you know, yeah. it was a movie about NWA, too. You know, that. <laughs> but, but also, how they, like, how much did he know? Like, when he was doing scenes, was he kind of like, you did this, Dad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the hotel rooms, you know, some of them scenes. <laughs> he was like, like, man, y'all took guns? Y'all did it again. Man, y'all was doing the most. <laughs> like, yeah, those was your favorite scenes, too. <laughs> But he, but he did know it. I mean, because how old was he when he knew the lyrics to Straight Outta Compton? Oh, they was young, man. You know, my kids is two, three years old. <laughs> I mean, it's playing all the time. And, you know, they would rap it and censor themselves, you know, just... They would, like, rap the lyrics straight out of Compton. Crazy mu name Ice Cube from the... <laughs> 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 uh, profanity, you know what I mean? So, it's just funny. And now, uh, you, Laurie, you have got kids, but none of them have followed in, in your footsteps, don't No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they haven't. Um... <laughs> I mean, they, they, do they have did, proper jobs. They, they all did. But they have proper jobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They they all did a bit. They all tried it and were good at it. Actually, I thought, but but didn't want to. Um, I I just think it's an amazing thing to think of your son doing this because I, you know, most men are in some version, are trying to trying to play their father anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, either imaginary or real. They're yeah. trying to sort of play the role of their father until they find out. You know. <laughs> If they ever do, some some don't. If they ever find out who they are, I think that's just an incredible thing. I mean, I had a very this is a very, a very sort of mild version of it because I was playing. I spent almost ten years playing a doctor, and my father was a doctor, and I felt like I was, I was a fake version of what he really was, and I mm -hmm. felt always sort of constantly guilty about that <laughs> um, because I think I think a lot of men do actually grow up feeling like that, feeling like fake versions of their own. And, and until you, you hopefully get to a point where you can think, well, I am, I am the real thing in some form. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, whatever it is, it's yeah. real. And what? And this film is going to put to bed all those things about Aquaman because Aquaman up to this point <laughs> in the DC world well, it was a slight He's figure of fun. Yeah. Yeah. They made fun of him, and that was hired to. Uh... Which I feel like I should win an award. Yeah. Yes, huh? yes, you should yeah. win an award. Took the no, lamest because... superhero and kind of made him cool. Yeah, because in the, because in the in the comics he was not that cool. Uh, this is. <laughs> Can you imagine what if Different what image. my yeah. when Zack Snyder told me you're gonna yeah, play Aquaman no. and that's the image that went through my head. And, and even worse, you might have seen this picture. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Changing. Yes, they are. Changing. No, because it's the whole kind of origin of where, where Aquaman came from. It is. You get to see what he went through as a child and his mother, Nicole Kidman. She was here a, a few weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, you get to see where he comes from, and I think a lot of people can relate to it in this day and age. There's yeah. a lot of... And also what's great is, and you watching it must have had the same kind of thrill that we do, because it's worlds we haven't seen before. You're blowing them up, but we haven't seen them before. Um, and presumably, when you watch the film, you're thinking, oh, I didn't know that was going to look like that. 
Yeah, it's even better because I haven't seen it yet. So it's gonna be like, <laughs> I'm, no, I'm... wait a minute. You are the star of a movie and you haven't bothered to watch it yet. Here's the thing, here's the thing. <laughs> Why? I have two babies that are 10 and 11. They were with me the whole time. And they promised me I wouldn't watch it until I saw it with them. Oh. oh. So they're so cute and they were there with me the whole time. And I'm like, I promise. You guys will see it before all of us. Yeah. But my little crazy, they ah! were on. They're on set with me, and I just I want to hold their hands, and it's such a rare moment oh. of being a father. Where mm. you can, that is so cute. Especially for me, because generally you can't watch the things that I do. <laughs> <laughs> None no, of your children should watch what I do. I made a solid profession out of that, and I just feel like, you know, this is something I want to share with my children. And just in case we get letters, I should, uh, well, I hope, say, you haven't actually tattooed your children. <laughs> they look like tattoos. Graham, I haven't tattooed my children. That's all right. <laughs> Those are stickers. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like You're that. disappointed. I was thinking, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my son will be watching that guy. When, when are you going to tattoo me? I want to get a tattoo. <laughs> like who did? Who do you think you are? Oh, God, yeah. Um, and it was, yeah. It was grim it was, discovery. It was the worst episode ever. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it was awful. I did. Who do you think you are? And the answer to that question is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> My whole family is just a long line of scumbags. <laughs> as far as the eye can stretch. It was the worst experience ever. And I did it with my dad, and we looked into his family, and on one side, uh, there was a philanderer who got syphilis and gave it to his wife, and then they ended up in an asylum. And then we went to Wales, and there was this guy who was a Tory MP who had put down this revolt of peasants that wanted the vote, and then he'd arrested, like, the William Wallace of Wales and had him hung, drawn, and caught. And I was doing it all with my dad, who throughout the entire thing just had a completely blank expression. I was like, you need to look more upset. <laughs> and he went on camera, he went, I am upset, it's deeply depressing. I had no idea we were Welsh. <laughs> Uh, uh, two sons, I think we've got a picture of you here uh, just yes. after you gave birth. No, that's Charlie. He's now almost three. He's two and a half. And Aww. yeah, that's, uh, that's us. Oh my yeah. That's so that's sweet. That's that is, we have is... now two. We have River Joe, who's one, and he's uh, two and a half. And is it Charlie who's like a sort of little mini me? Well, but, uh, yeah, a little bit. A, a little bit. I, you know, you, start, you say things and then they, they re repeat them. He says a couple of things that I say, uh, my dad, and this is probably a regionalism, used to say uh, asses and elbows, meaning uh, we'd be in the kitchen washing uh, pots and pans, and uh, if, I, if I participated, I'd be kind of, mm -hmm. And he'd come on, go, you know, let's get, really get in there, asses and elbows, <laughs> asses and elbows. <laughs> so now, uh, Charlie, I'm often in charge of uh, seeing him brush his teeth and teaching him that that takes a while. So he kind of, you know, does a little bit of this. And I go, come on, asses and elbows, asses and elbows. And he says it's fun to hear him say asses and elbows. Asses and, elbows. <laughs> and then the other day, I heard him say, um, I guess I said it. I, he said, uh, oh, yeah. these." You know, I said, you like those pancakes? Yeah, never in my whole life have I had <laughs> I said, what'd you say? It's Never whole my whole life. Yes, you're, 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 you're oh young life. life. A long it's life. Two and a half. In over three and a half years. Yeah. Oh, my God. So cute. I know. <laughs> but now, Chris, your son, it seems, remarkably unimpressed by your career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, could, yeah, he really uh, couldn't care less. But uh, isn't it thing that he doesn't believe you're the real deal? Yeah. <laughs> he, I mean... <laughs> He's now, you know, five, he'll, he'll say he's five and three quarters, and he and he went to Universal uh, the other day, Universal Studios in L.A., theme park, had a good time, and came back, and he said, hey, Dad, guess what? Today, I saw the real Owen. Because, <laughs> like, there's this guy at, at, at Universal who dresses up like my character from the movie, and, <laughs> and the dinosaurs come out, and he's like, does this thing, and the kids, he's like... That's so funny. You know, I saw the real one, Dad. <laughs> So uh, I was like, well, all right, yeah, you can sort of do it. Well, he's putting the work in. He's there every day. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah, it's true, actually, yeah. 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 All year, he's it, there. It, yeah, actually, yeah. it actually is true, yeah. But also, uh, you obviously, you know, you, you have your parenting rules and all that, but yep. apparently, the, what is it, the parenting rules change if you go fishing? 
Yes, that's right. That's right. Um, we have a we have I have a farm uh, up in Washington State, and on on this farm is a lake, and and it's uh, we fish a lot for bass on this lake. My son and I. And I had this rule with my old man, and, and I have it with my son, which is when you're fishing, you can swear. Yeah, you can just swear when you're fishing. Mm -hmm. It's just the guys. Go ahead and let loose. <laughs> and so we're out fishing. He catches a fish, and I'm trying to get him to take a picture with the fish before we let it go. And it flops out of his hands, and, it, and these bass have these little spines on, the, on their back. And the fin pokes him in the hand, and it falls in the water. He starts to cry. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. And I said, hey, buddy, are you all right? You all right? He said, oh. Dad, I'm about to swear. <laughs> I said, hey, you know, you know the rules. And he goes, that bass, that bass is stupid. <laughs> and, well, you know, I think we say, hey, don't say someone call someone stupid. That's bad. You shouldn't say that. And, I, and, I, and he continues to cry. I said, did you feel better? He said, a little bit stupid, stupid bass. And I was like, <laughs> I was like all, all right, buddy. Yeah, you know, now's the time. Get it out. And he goes, he goes, that stupid bass is a fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Uh, all right. Oh my God. <laughs>